Good morning. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm making um, venison and elk chili. I had a package of uh, deer meat that we got from um, one of Ed's friends from work in the freezer. Um, it was ground already. And then I had a pack of elk meat that I had got from Azure Standard. And it's ground elk black Black Wing Meats is the company from Azure. And uh, so I thought I might as well just combine them because the elk is a small package and the deer meat is probably about a pound too. So um, they're both about a pound, maybe a little over. And I thought I would combine those and uh, make chili. So um, I'm going to get a couple things done ahead of time so you don't need to see all of it. But I'll tell you step by step what I did. But let's make some deer and elk chili. Okay, in my cast iron skillet, I'm sauteing onions and peppers and some bacon. Chopped up, about three pieces of chopped up thick uh, bacon. And because those meats don't have hardly any fat at all in them, the deer meat and the elk. So I'm adding the bacon and uh, I'm going to throw in some minced garlic and the, the both of the meats. And I'll bring you back to that and uh, some minced garlic towards the end once the meat is brown and the bacon. The bacon is brown. Looks delicious, doesn't it? Okay, I'm going to add in the deer meat first. It's the darkest. And then all this. I the deer meat kind of got messed up here. All right, here's the deer meat. You see how dark it is? Now this is the elk meat. This ought to be really, really delicious. And I'm going to add uh, probably about a tablespoon, maybe two tablespoons of gar minced garlic um, after I get this stirred up a little bit. And uh, I'm going to saute this until the meat is brown because I'm going to cook it in my crock pot. You can cook it just on the stove if you want. In a bigger pot, I'm just using my cast iron. But I'm going to put it in my crock pot. I'm just going to chop it up. Let it cook down. If it gets a little dry, I'm going to add some beef broth to it. I've got some sitting right here. Uh, but we'll see. I'm hoping the bacon helps a little bit, but if not, I'll add just a little bit of beef broth to it, and uh, then once this salt gets all browned to where I want it, I will bring you back, and we're going to put everything in the crock pot. Okay, here's the sautéed uh, venison and elk meat, a pound each, and then a half of an onion, three or four of those little mini bell peppers, some minced garlic. Uh, about three slices of thick bacon chopped up that I sauteed with it for extra, you know, because venison didn't have hardly any fat and neither does the elk. And now I'm going to add uh, one can of rinsed black beans. You don't have to add beans at all if you don't want to. I got a little bit of uh, smoked paprika on the beans there, but I'm just going to stick with the spatula. Okay. Now I'm going to sprinkle in some Italian seasoning. Oh, not the lid. Italian seasoning. So about a, about a teaspoon. And then some of this, uh, it's wood fire smoked garlic kinders seasoning. So about, I don't know, about a quarter teaspoon of that. A couple splashes of salt. I seasoned the meat and stuff while I was cooking it, so I don't want to put too much. A couple pinches of fresh black pepper. Love my pepper. And then, take the lid off with this. Oh my gosh, it always makes such a mess. And then, where are my tablespoons at? I'm just going to use a regular spoon. About a tablespoon of smoked paprika. And there's that. Okay, and then uh, some cumin. I'm just going to sprinkle it 
Let's just stick in there. So about about a teaspoon, however much you like, of cumin. I want it to be flavorful. And then some chili powder. Just a little. About a teaspoon of that. And we're gonna mix this up. Oh, it smells so good. This is gonna be delicious. I think adding that bacon, I didn't add any broth uh, when I was cooking the meat and stuff because it was it wasn't dry. It, I think the bacon really helped. All right, now to this we're gonna add, the recipe says to add two cans of uh, tomato puree. So there's one. I have, this is from Azure Standard, it's organic tomato sauce, or puree and tomato sauce to me is the same thing, so that's what I'm using, it's pretty thick. So two cans of that. Okay, let's mix this around. I've got my crock pot already on, heating up as I'm doing this. Okay, all the way to the bottom. This looks so good. Okay, and now I'm gonna add some diced tomatoes in their liquid. There's one. Oh. Come out of there. There we go. Be careful with those lids. Oh my gosh, they are so sharp and it seems like I always cut myself. There's one can. And then we're gonna add one more. So two cans of tomato uh, sauce or puree and two cans of diced tomatoes undrained. You don't wanna drain them. And I'm hoping I don't have to add any uh, broth to it. I'm going to let it cook a little bit and I may have to add some. We'll see. But right now it looks like it's okay. I don't want it watery. I want it thick. Okay. Oh, it smells so good. Okay. Let us I'm dropping stuff. Wipe off my crock pot here. Alright. I've got it on high. And I'm gonna let it cook. Recipe says for high three to four hours because everything is basically cooked. Um, so there we go. Beautiful venison and elk chili. And I'll bring you back for a taste test. Okay, my venison slash elk meat chili is all finished. It turned out delicious. Ed already had a bowl because he has to go do some errands. Because uh, he's add, doing a, some drywall and stuff. But remember I put um, the sautéed uh, deer meat, elk meat, some cut up, chopped up bacon, uh, peppers, onions, garlic, and one can of uh, black beans that I rinsed. And then I put on some shredded cheese, um, Colby, uh, like a Colby cheese. And a dollop of sour cream, and then some of my freeze or freeze dried, some of my uh, dehydrated onions that I did the other day on my video. So let's give it a taste. Ed loved the the dehydrated onions on there. Okay, a little bit of sour cream, a little bit of cheese, a little bit of onions. Still pretty hot. Mmm. Oh my goodness. This is delicious. It is so good. Who would have thought adding venison and, and elk meat together would be this good? Mm. Well, like I said, you don't have you can use gr uh, ground beef. You can use what you want, but and I can really taste the cumin and the garlic. So, so good. Especially for a cold day. So, I appreciate you watching. I hope you enjoyed the recipe. I'll leave it in my description box below. If you want to give it a try. And, uh, stay tuned for more videos. I've just been really, really in a making video mood. And, uh, it's, you know, because he's retired now, so. But he's been out doing stuff, so I can, I can do only videos when I'm he's not in here and uh so but i appreciate you watching i hope you give it a thumbs up 
give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, stay tuned for more videos coming up, and I will catch you in my next one. Bye.